Institute of Fine Arts of NYU is having this exhibition about the expensive exchanges between China and African countries over the past decade in its classical Duke house. Where we see the artworks are hanging right now used to be you know, portraits of um, donors and important people um, in, the, in a very traditional um, European style. Um, but we wanted to work with that context and also uh, in a provocative way. So we chose subject matters that are not typically featured in these older portraits and um, also, you know, responding to this kind of recent exchange between China and continental Africa. And of course, there's a problem of comparing a country and a whole continent, but such has been the sort of multifaceted exchange between China and several African countries in terms of infrastructure building, importing and exporting of technology and uh, you know, uh, raw materials and precious mineral, uh, precious metals. This exhibition presents works by four artists, two Chinese and two African nationals. They try to use different forms of arts to show their observations and reflections on cross-continental relations and immigration. So there are two Chinese artists in the exhibition. One of them is Hu Xiangqian, um, whose work is uh, printed on a large format in the uh, lecture hall. Um, this actually comes from a performance work he did in 2008. So he talked about his fascination with them and wanting to look, look at them and look like them. Um, there is, of course, a degree of exoticization or exoticizing look um, or a degree of ignorant fascination. Um, but that work is perfectly, I wouldn't say perfectly, is interestingly balanced off by the work next to it, um, which is Samuel Falso, a Cameroonian artist self-portrait as Mao, the legendary Chinese leader for, um, th for a lot of African countries in their own liberation movement. In this room, we actually have another Chinese artist, He Xiangyu, who looked at um, this new kind of new kind of recruitment from African teenagers to learn and perform acrobatics in China. This is Edison Chagas, who's um, from Angola, and he's actually the artist who won the best national pavilion at the 2013 Venice Biennial. Um, this is himself a uh, self-portrait, but we don't see his face. Throughout this whole series of cell portraits, he would wear this crisp white shirt and then cover his face or even suffocating himself a little bit with um, you know, commercial packaging that represent economic interests and entities that are present in Angola. This exhibition will continue to February 18th, 2018. For more information about Sinovision English Channel, you can find us online at en.sinovision.net or follow our Facebook page, Sinovision Official. Reporting for Sign of Vision Journal, I'm Chu Xuan Lu.